Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to see how to call OpenAI ChatGPT API in the JavaScript code. Well, we'll see how we can get the OpenAI API key from the OpenAI platform and how we can use that OpenAI key in the JavaScript code. Okay, so here just open the VS Code ID and open the folder in a VS Code ID. Let us give folder name as ChatGPT. Within this folder, let's create a new file and let us give file name as chargpt.html so basically within a html you know file we are going to write both html and javascript code so just create a html file so let us quickly go through this code ask chargpt is the heading for this page this is the input element to read the user input and this is the button so once user enter the prompt or a message in the input field, user can click on the send button. And once user click on the send button, the on click event will be triggered and this ask chargpt function will be called. So this is a simple JavaScript function to call chargpt API. So within this function, we should have the open AI API key. Well, I'm going to show you how you can get the open AI API key bit later. And this is the code to get the input you know from the input field by using get element by id and here we are just passing the input element id over here so this will get the user input next here we are using javascript provided fetch api to call this rest endpoint this is basically http post request and within a header we are giving the api key with authorization as a key so in a header we need to pass the api key then only we can able to access this chargpt api okay next within a header we also need to configure the content type as a json and in a body we create a json with model and messages so you look at here chargpt basically comes with different models like chargpt4 chargpt40 mini chargpt401 etc and here we need to specify the model because we need to tell chargpt like use this model to process the prompt like that okay and this is a messages within a messages we need to specify the role and content so here the content is nothing but the prompt so whatever the user enter the message or a prompt in the input field that we are passing here in a body okay so this is the json that we are passing in this rest api body once this fetch api make the http post request to this endpoint it will get the response and that response will be stored in this response object and by using json method we can get the json response from this javascript object into a data and here we are using epl statement just to make sure that the response is success if the response is success that is status 200 okay then we are simply getting the content from the json and we are simply you know displaying that content in this paragraph so this paragraph has a id response and you can see here response if there is any issue then we'll display the error message in the paragraph so this is a simple javascript code to call the chat gpt api now let us go ahead and get the open ai api key and let us test this javascript code so go to the browser in a new tab just search for open ai documentation click on the first link over here well in order to get the open ai api key you have to log in so if you have already created the chat gpt account then you can use the same credentials to log into this open ai platform if you haven't created the account then you have to sign up first okay so once you sign up click on the login button to log into this open ai platform so once you enter the email id and password click on ok well, once you log into the OpenAI platform, click on this API reference over here and go to the endpoints and here you can see the chat endpoint. So this is the endpoint we are calling from the JavaScript code. If you can see this URL over here and if you go to the JavaScript code, so here you can see the URL. So we are basically calling the chat GPT API that make the chat interaction. Next, if you go to the documentation again, and here you can see the example request and response and if you go take a look into the example request model and message within a message role and content 
So this is what we are passing in the JavaScript code. If you go to the JavaScript code and here if you take a look into the body. So within a body we are passing a model and messages. Messages has an array with the object, role and content. And if you look at the again documentation, object has a model and messages. So same, you know, request object we have to prepare in the JavaScript code like this. Okay, next go back to the documentation. So once we call this endpoint, the endpoint returns the response like this. And within this response, we only need the content. Okay, so in a JavaScript code, we have written that logic as well. So here you can see choices. So within a choices, we have a message. Within a message, we have a content. And if you look at the response, you can see choices. Within a choices, we have a message. From the message, we can get the content. So that is what the logic we have written over here. All right. I hope you pretty much understood the request and response for this endpoint. Okay. Now let us go ahead and let us see how to get the API key. So in order to get the API key, click on this search and here just search for API keys and just select this API key section over here. And from here you can create the new secret key. So I have already created a couple of secret keys over here. That's why you can see these records. In order to create a new key, just click on this create new secret key. And here you can give any name that you want. And here choose the project as a default. So we basically create a API key with respect to project. If you don't create the project, you can select the default project over here. And here you can choose the permissions accordingly. Click on create secret key. And look at here, please save your secret key in a safe place since you won't be able to view it again. Keep it secure as anyone with your API key can make request on your behalf. If you do lose it, you will need to generate a new one. So make sure to keep this key in a safe place. So just copy it and go to the JavaScript code and here go to the API key variable. Just remove this and paste this key. Next go back to documentation and just click on done. So this is how we can you know manage the API keys over here. Now you may have a question like the API keys are paid or free. Well if you go to the usage page over here and if you go to the cost and you can see the credit limit five dollar. So if you create the new account for chat GPT or open API platform you will get a credit limit five dollar so that you can explore the open AI endpoints. Once you reach this credit limit, you have to pay as you go. Next, if you want to increase the limit, just click on this increase limit and add the payment method. Next, go to the activities. Here you can see your all the activities like how many requests you made, what are the tokens, the count of tokens. And if you want to see the pricing for each model, go to the docs over here, go to pricing. And here you can explore the models with respect to their prices. Okay, so this is all about, you know, quick recap, like how you can generate the API key, the pricing models. Next, let us go back to our JavaScript code over here. Now let us run this HTML file in the browser and let us see how this JavaScript code works. So in order to run this HTML file in the browser, so go to the file over here and just right click and here reveal in a file explorer and just right click open with google chrome so you can open any browser that you want and here you can see the input field so here just type the message or the prompt what is javascript in simple words and before sending just right click inspect and go to the console so that if there are any errors, we can see in the console, right? Next, click on send button over here. Just wait for a second and there we go. You can see here the chat GPT response. JavaScript is a programming language that helps you create an interactive and dynamic content on a website. So this content we got from the chat GPT API. Okay, so this is how we integrate chat GPT API in the JavaScript code. This is awesome, right? Next, let us ask one more question like what is CSS in simple words? Click on send button and just wait a second and there we go. You can see the chat GPT response. 
It means we have successfully used OpenAI ChatGPT API in our JavaScript code. Alright, great. I will see you in the next video.